Good morning, you guys. It's about 7 a.m. in the morning, and we're on our way to Volta River. And I want to take you guys with us, so yeah. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video, you guys. Thank you. <laughs> along Adome Bridge in Akosombo. This is at at, and this, this is, is at Timpoko. Okay. We are actually in Atimpoko. Atimpoku. Okay, but we are on the Adome Bridge. I'll get it right one of these days. The lady back there, she wanted to charge us two CDs a piece to cross the bridge because we're tourists. She said we're tourists. But uh, my husband, who, his family owned this town pretty much. And he said, no, you should pay me. I meant to say, he said she should pay him. Not vice versa. This is his family's home. His father is, no, your father or mother? Your, your, his mother is from here. And his mother was of royalty. 
And my husband coming back, they actually wanted to make him king. But he didn't want to have any parts of that. So, um, yeah. So, with that being said, that's why he said, no, you should pay me. Like, this is, this is originally my town. My village. And oh, what a beautiful village it is. A lot of be um, what's involved with becoming a king is a lot of spiritism. And because that's so deeply involved or ingrained in their culture, he didn't want to have anything to do with that. So he gave that up. And with that, you're giving up a lot of material possessions, that is, a lot of land. See, that's the middle one, the outside one. So I don't know if you all can see, but that little island there in the middle, that used to belong to my husband's family as well. It was sold. Uh, and I'm not even sure, I don't even think a lot of his families were aware of it. How they didn't know, I'm not sure, but that's the story. I wish you guys could feel this breeze. It is absolutely amazing. And I know right now it's winter time in the United States and you guys are cold. I wish I could give you some of this weather. Look at the view I'm looking at right now. <laughs> okay, you guys, I got a factoid alert coming up here. So as we were actually walking by this statue, Abraham tells me, that guy in the statue is related to me. And I said, oh yeah, how so? He said, he's actually my great, great grandfather. And I'm a little skeptical about that, but I said, go on. And he said, yeah. He said, it's told by my mother and grandparents. My grandfather's name was Asomani, and he actually entered the castle at Christianburg, um, which is a fort that was um, in Ghana there. And it was under the control of Europeans at that time because they were occupying their land. So Asomani figured out a clever way to enter into the castle without stirring up a lot of suspicion. And after he entered the castle with his men, he and his men overtook the Europeans at the castle in Christianburg and they ousted them. So that's why you see him holding the keys which were to the door of the castle that was in Christianburg. And then you see him holding a gun. And that gun was actually confiscated from the Europeans. And he's also standing on top of a cannon and cannonballs because at the time that represented all of the castles and the forts that were along Ghana's shoreline. Anyway, that's the reason why so much of the land in this area is owned by his family. So, all that is to say, you never know what interesting tidbits you may find out about your family history once you come to Africa. And although I personally haven't researched my family side, which one day I will do, I feel that once I do, it'll be pretty cool to meet and connect with extended family, and who knows what hidden gems I may find as well. If all I know, I could be royalty myself. <laughs> anyway, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Until next time.